Hi guys, it's Vesna here. Welcome to Vesna TV Home. For today's episode, I'm showing you how I decorated my tear tray for Easter. Now I start off with just my tray and I clean it off. I had some decor left on it from St. Patty's Day, so I might use some of these pieces or I might not. I always kind of leave some of the greenery and that pickup truck because I like to include it in some of my decor. So we'll see if I wind up using it, but the first step is to clean it. Once I've cleaned it, I kind of get out all the things that I'm thinking of using. So here's a picture of these things, and I'll go step by step over all of these. But before I do that, this episode is a part of a collaboration hosted by Domestic Diva Home. So Sonia is super talented. Make sure you check out her home channel. Check out all of her channels. She's got a whole bunch. Check them out. She's really talented. She hosts this collaboration seasonally, and it's a few of us creators who get together and show you what we've done. Either we create the decor or we show you how we decorate it. But it's all tier tray themed and the, the overall theme today is Easter. So check out the playlist and check out Sonia's channel. It'll all be linked in my description below. Okay, let's go on and talk about the pieces that I'm going to be using in the tray. So all of these things that I'm, well actually most of these things that I'm using are DIYs that I made last year or the year before. So we'll start off with these hop uh, cubes and they're the Dollar Tree dice that I just painted out. Then I have this little strainer that I made a bunny out of and I'll be modifying that. I'll show you later. Then I have this egg that I got from Marshalls and then this one that I got from the dollar store and just made it kind of look like concrete. Then I've got these other little eggs that I kind of had the same type of theme kind of to look like steel or whatnot then I have this candle it's a bunny candle I just like it because it's gray this little sign that I made last year as well then I have these risers because we always need risers in the, my tray uh, it's a little bit deep I'm always contemplating on making like a little thing for the entire tray, but we'll see. Then I have these little carrots. Again, they're that concrete silver theme. I've got this little bunny. I don't know how much I like it, whether I'll use it. And then this little cloche where I might put in these silver type of eggs. And then I have that velvet egg from the Dollar Tree, this pickup truck, which I may or may not use, and then another riser. I've got, that's kind of my base. Not sure if I'll use everything. Um, then for this little strainer, the bunny strainer, I did take off the pink ears because I think they just didn't look as nice as it did without it. I think the actual DIY looks so much better with just that and maybe even changing out the whiskers to like maybe um, like a floral wire, but a silver floral wire might be a little bit nicer than it is now. But for now, I'll leave it, but I did take off the pink from his ears and I think he looks so much better. So whenever I arrange these trays it's always like a trial and error and it, you know I have a love-hate relationship with them. So I start off with one thing and then I kind of try to work my way around. I, I don't have a method. I just try to do like back but then I wind up rechanging things and you'll see the process here. So I started off with my riser and I added the carrots in on top of it and then I kind of went ahead and I put the things around it to see how I would like it and wound up changing it again. I do kind of try to balance if I put a sign at the top, I want to have something bigger at the bottom and vice versa. So I started off with putting those carrots, then I added the strainer and the bunny and I thought I did the bottom and then I kind of looked at the top. I tried to add the cloche at the beginning and the sign at the back, I mean sorry at the front and the sign at the back, then I didn't like that. So I went and I got these beads which I also made for a DIY last week. And I thought I would add those in there to add to the concrete cement look. And then I wound up adding some of these green balls because I thought they would add to the tray. Once I took my tray back, that's when I decided to add these green floral balls. And I also added risers to everything to make it a little bit higher. And I think I kind of nailed the look that I wanted down. I did not wind up using that metal bunny. And I put the sign at the bottom. 
I put these little eggs down here, the strainer there, another one of those balls, and they're just from the either Dollar Tree or Dollarama, but they were buck twenty-five. They were really cheap. I should have bought more. I love adding them to all of my decor, so if I see them around, I will add more. And then I just have the cement balls just kind of hanging down. And I have the bunny up there and the cloches there rise a little bit and it just kind of adds a little background to everything. And I added <coughs> two razors to here just so that you could actually see the decor a little bit better. And I think I'm happy with this. I'm always like these trays. I'm always like in and out and sometimes I'll just wind up looking at them and then thinking okay I gotta add more but I think this is good I'm pretty happy with this let me know what you think I'm gonna have a carrot themed tray and an, and probably another carrot themed tray that I'm gonna put out and show you guys sometime next week so let me know what you think of this one and let me know how you decorate whether you do tiered trays or any kind of stuff for Easter I do like decorating for Easter, although I'm very behind this year. It seems to be the story of my life this year. But let me know what you think of this tray and have a look at the playlist. You'll be really inspired. And make sure you check out Sonia's channel. She has a beautiful home, so make sure you check it out. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that like button. I do have a DIY channel, so Vesna TV DIY, where I post all of these things that I showed you here, how I make them. So check that out as well. Thank you so much. Have a great day and stay safe.